Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions video. I am Vinny, your host, also known as BNSF 6951. This is a model railroad channel. So if you guys are interested in run up sessions, scratch builds, live streams, prototypes, and everything related to model railroads, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. <laughs> Hit the bell or something there and give me those too. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's get on with the video, so come on in. This Vinny Vid production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. Alright guys, now it's time for the next step on your layout. Trees! I have been dealing with Bob for 7 years now and he does excellent work on his trees. So if you need some trees on your layout, check out Long Shadow's Trees. Tell them the cuz sent you. All right, guys, we're going to start this video off with a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, I just want to say that uh, there's going to be excessive noise and excessive movement of the camera because I am doing this video by myself. And it is pretty hard for me to move the camera, uh, get the shot and focus, move my throttle around and run the train and all that kind of stuff but anyhow i hope you guys and gals enjoy this one and let's see how it goes so stay tuned and we'll get going with this all right guys so this is going to be a full run from my lower deck up to the third level and back down again uh it ran actually ran very very well i was just amazed uh these two sd40s did a nice job pulling this train uh, I did switch out the uh, buffer car from the last video. Now I have a box car in there. Uh, and I'm running my tankers because they were the ones that were ready to go. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I have, I think I showed a throttle speed on here. I think I'm at uh, step 8 or 10, I don't believe. But I didn't go any higher than those two numbers on this entire video. So what you see is actually the train running from bottom to top and back down. <laughs> well, I do show it. Excuse me on that. But anyhow, uh, we're going to negotiate some turnouts right here. And as you can see, it's running pretty smooth. I do need to... I was blaming that hopper car for the uncoupling problem, but actually it's the couplers on the locomotives. Cato uses the cheapest, most crummiest that, uh, couples I've ever seen. Uh, sometimes I need to actually smash the car into the couple to get it to lock up. So Dave, you're watching this. I need some uh, uh, some good couplers for these locomotives. If you have any uh, 1015s or 1016s, uh, come on over and uh, let's put them on these locomotives. <coughs> now, I did not take the volume out of the train running. I wanted you guys to hear. Uh, here's a locomotive, even though it's not sound, you can hear the little motor inside working. And we're heading up the hill here, and I don't know why there wasn't a transition in that spot right there. But I'll have to fix that. Again, I did not touch the throttle through the entire hill to run. Uh, it's only pulling about 8 or 10 cars, I think. So, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. But usually two Kato locomotives will pull a 20, 20 or 25 car up this grade. The space that I'm in right now, because of the noise you're hearing, <laughs> is because I'm in a space that's about 18 inches wide and I have a step stool sitting behind me and I tried to park my butt on the step stool and <laughs> it caused a lot of extra movement and noise. So please forgive me on the noise part. <laughs> <part. clears throat> I just love watching my chains run through these, this helix. By the way, this video is about 21 minutes long, so I hope you guys uh, have a beverage handy. 
And like that little sign says, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. This train is actually running a little bit faster than scale speed. Um, I just wanted to get the video done because I knew it was going to be a pretty hard video for me to do uh, by myself. So I am inviting it. whoever wants to come over and run a train so I could video a good video of the train running. Come on over. It's funny, even the uh, problem spots I was expecting problems at, I didn't have no problems at. <coughs> Eventually, the scenery up on the top layer of the helix. Uh, I'm gonna come back to that side. I'll show you. All of the stuff that's on the back side is gonna be is gonna be changed. It's gonna actually go up to the underneath of the third level. So there's gonna be like a huge mountain right there instead of that half half mountain. And also, it gives me a chance to move this section back because the train is really close to the wall right there, as you can see. Now, I was expecting a problem uh, on a turnout that's right after that bridge, but it just went through nice, perfect. I can't believe how perfect it went through. And of course, it, it runs perfect for me, <clears throat> but as soon as I have someone come over, uh, it doesn't run so perfect anymore. So we'll see. I got a couple of visitors from out of town who come in here in October and no hopefully in November. Uh, and we'll see how this goes. This is the town of Morristown, and from <clears throat> well, flyover bridges aren't in there, but anyhow, from the flyover bridges, car bridges to the train bridge is 10 miles, and it's 10 miles from that bridge to this bridge. And this is the town of Wickenburg, Old Town Wickenburg. I still need to clean up all those buildings that are back there, which were done for me by John Tanzillo. <coughs> <coughs> and we'll be heading back into train room number two here, and this will be a cut. And I don't know what happened to the transition there, again. But at this point, we start another 2% grade because uh, we need to get an optimum height of, uh, I think, 9 inches above the second level. <clears throat> now, the trees that you see on here uh, were a gift from uh, Peter, M. Peter LL, uh, way back in the day. All the pine trees you see there. And I still have some more to plant on that mountain right there. So we're still on the 2% grade right here. And from the second deck to the top of that bridge is about 9 and a half inches. And from the lower deck to the top of that bridge is 24 inches. <coughs> There's a lot of people hounding me to get this section of my layout finished. I won't mention any names, Mr. Sparky. And Mr. Roy, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mention the name. But anyhow, that's going to be my Drake cement plant when I get done to it, when I get done. <clears throat> so at that point, we just changed to a two and a half percent grade to reach the uh, height that I needed. <clears throat> so this bridge, at, at the point that this layout was built with this bridge, that was Summit. Oops, sorry about the focus there. <clears throat> now we'll be entering the town of Ash Fork. And before I started on the third level, Ash Fork was the terminus of this layout. But the actual route goes from Phoenix to Williams. And that's what the third level is all about. Sorry about always jumping around, guys. I really am sorry about that. 
Then I just uh, start another grade right here. Uh, it's another two percent grade, and I need that to get all the other grades in the rest of the video and the layout to, to work. Okay, now that was the end of the layout at one point, and now it starts the new layout. And starting to go out, and we'll go between these two mountain cuts right here. Now at this point, I actually took the camera off my hand <laughs> and laid it down on the layout and went to chain room number one to unplug my throttle and come back into chain room number two, plug the throttle in and pick the camera up again. So, sorry for all the movement that's going to be here. But now, right there where the chain is, there'll be a mountain right there. And of course the front side where there is no scenery, there'll be a place where there'll be some scenery there. <coughs> Yesterday's video, we did not come this far. And again, when it goes around this next loop, there'll be a big mountain right there, also. So far, this run has been going pretty good. If there was a mess up or something like that, I would have left it in just to show you guys. But actually, <coughs> this ran all the way down, uh, all the way up until almost the end where I had a derailment. When I get to the point where I had the derailment, I will tell you guys that I did cut it out. But it's funny, it ran all the way up and all the way down through the helix. And right outside the helix is a couple of turnouts that uh, made, made uh, the boxcar jump off the track. This scene back here, you can't really tell, but it's got a little bit of a zigzag in it. And of course, that building doesn't belong there. But if you guys have been watching my series on these building mountains, uh, you'll see that those are the mountains that I've been working on recently. And again, there'll be fascia there with some scenery that will be going up to the fascia. This entire upper section, from when it enters the section until it exits this section, is a reverse loop or a reverse, a reverse section. Totally, totally excited about this <laughs> uh, because this should have been this part of the layout should have been done a few months ago um, because all the electrical issues I was having uh, it delayed me on this and delayed me on one of the builds that I'm doing, uh, which I will be getting back on here pretty soon, and I'll start doing uh, some more videos on that build, which is the Oxnard Train Center. We're going to be heading back down the hill right now. And right where this turnout is, is where the reverse section starts. And you'll see the turnout I'm talking about here in a second. <clears throat> and I do have a Digi Tracks AR1 reversing unit. Help me out with that turnout right there. It is the start and finish of the reverse loop. And I'm actually <laughs> surprised to change the unit derail here because I have nothing holding the points in place. Oh, none of the transitions are working. I guess I gotta put them all in again. <coughs> when the final cut gets done on this video, you probably say, what is he talking about? The transitions are there. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, <coughs> it is basically what you see here. It's a single track from Phoenix up to Williams with lots of sidings uh, and lots of passing sidings and so on and so forth. So I tried to replicate that <coughs> and all of the extra scenery that you saw me going through up there, that's not really part of the, well it is part of the layout but it's not the way I actually did the layout, if you guys can understand that.
it should have been totally a point to point is what I'm trying to say but I wanted the extra run time because it's fun to watch this I mean this whole trip took 20 minutes so it's pretty cool to watch the change through my layout <coughs> especially when I get to stock it and scenery done on that on that third level so that's some scenery done in this scene right here even though the, even though the industry is not done uh, it's one of the more scenic areas of my layout <coughs> there needs to be more scenery done underneath that bridge I mean in real life it's just just a lot of overgrowth of, of cactus and weeds and stuff like that so I need to get on that for some scenery and then I also need to finish the mountain that's behind you can see the cardboard uh, basket weed sticking up there that needs to get finished <laughs> <coughs> so now we're heading down to 2% grade and uh, this, this will be the little Hell Canyon Bridge and the other bridge that we just crossed over is called Hell Canyon Bridge And once we go through the wall, we are, we will be on level surface until we get to the helix. It's funny, when I was building this layout, I was getting suggestions on how I should do this, and people were telling me, knock the wall down, knock the wall down. Well, you know what? If you want to pay for it, and then pay for it when I want to sell the house to have the wall put back in, I'll do it. <laughs> Nobody stepped up to that. So sorry for all the extra movement that you guys are seeing, but that's because I'm plugging and unplugging my throttle in. I try and keep the train focused while I do that. Obviously, I'm not succeeding very well. <laughs> I love bridges, by the way. And at this point, I think I have seven bridges on my layout. This area that we're passing through now is going to be the home of my ethanol plant. So all the buildings you see right there are all part of that industry. And it's loosely based on the H.O. Walters kit uh, for the ethanol plant that they had a couple of years ago. Again, it turned out just before that bridge, I was expecting to have problems and I didn't have any problems. But you can see how close the train is to that wall and that's going to be fixed. Originally, this helix was supposed to be double track, but like I said earlier, the P vine is single track from Phoenix to Williams with lots of side moves. So this helix represents all the small towns that it goes through from Phoenix, from Phoenix to Williams. My aisleways are not very wide, only because I want to get this helix, and this helix is on, is on a, four, a four foot by four foot base. So it kind of occupies a lot of space in this room. These cable locomotives run so smooth.
So anyhow, the derailment that I had uh, was just as it came out of the helix. And you'll see I make a big switch right here and go into the next scene. But the derailment, I did cut. That's the only thing that I cut out. That was the only problem I had in this whole thing. After a 20 minute run, that was the only problem I had. So for me, I am very happy uh, and just ho hope that it runs as well as it did in this video for the guests that are coming here uh, in the next couple of months. <coughs> Anyhow, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, input, sub, shares, and like are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951 out.